Hello and welcome to Signal Driving School YouTube channel. My name is Chris and I'm one of the driver trainers at Signal Driving School. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an insight into what happens on the day of your practical driving test. If you are outside of Queensland, please check with your state or territory's regulations as the information may vary. You can also ask questions in the comment down below and one of the viewers will be happy to answer them. Let's begin. This video will cover the following. What to do before heading to the center, what to bring, when to arrive, what to do when you arrive at the center, how long the test will last, what an examiner will be checking before heading on the road, what happened during the test, and last but not least, what happens at the end of the driving test. What to do before heading to the test center? Before heading to the test center, you should ensure that the vehicle you are using is roadworthy. Also make sure to clean up the car if you are using your own car, parent's car or friend's car. It gives the examiner a good impression if you turn up with a tidy and clean car. You also need to specifically check the following. All four tires, both front and rear indicator lights, all the brake lights, and the horn. You don't have to worry about this if you are using a driving school car as the driving instructor would have checked them for you. What to bring? You will need to bring your valid learner license or another license if converting. Those with an overseas license may need additional documents. When to arrive? It used to be that you'd arrive at the center at least 10 minutes before the test time, but this has changed due to the pandemic. You now need to arrive 20 minutes before the test. However, there is a possibility this may change in the future, so you must check the booking confirmation for up-to-date information, but it's better to arrive early so that you have enough time to calm your nerves before the test or even grab some coffee if you have enough time. What to do when you arrive at the center? Once you arrive at the center, you will need to park the car in the test vehicle parking bay and go to the test office to let them know that you've arrived. They will then check your driver's license and ask you a few questions. How long the test will last? Most driving tests will go for 30 to 45 minutes, but this may vary in some cases. What your examiner will be checking before heading to the road? At the start of the test, your driving examiner will ask you to put the car in the pre-ignition but not to start the car yet. They will then check the indicator lights, brake lights, and horn. If everything is working fine, the examiner will enter the vehicle and it's at this stage that the ignition can be started. The examiner will ask you to show how to operate certain vehicle controls. Some of the most common controls are front and rear demister, air conditioning, front windscreen wipers, rear wipers, front washers, rear washers, parking lights, headlights, high beam, anti-glare, mirror adjustment, and seat adjustments. What happens during the test? The test might be conducted slightly differently depending on where you are. In Queensland, the test is mainly focused on your ability to drive and how safely you interact with other road users. The examiner gives you simple and clear direction beforehand using words such as at the next street, turn left. If they don't give you directions, you are supposed to follow the road and be guided by road signs, signals, and road markings. If you are not sure about the instructions, don't be shy. Ask for them to be repeated. The test will cover main roads, residential areas, and highway driving if there is one nearby. You will mostly be asked to do some maneuvers, such as reverse parallel parking or a 3.10. The number of maneuvers you have to complete will be determined by your driving examiner. What happens at the end of the driving test? At the end of the driving test, the examiner will give you feedback on how you performed. The driving examiner will discuss any errors that you have made. The errors are categorized into non-critical driving errors, also known as minor errors, specific repeated driving errors, and critical driving errors, also known as serious driving faults. To be able to successfully pass a practical driving test in Queensland, you should have zero critical driving errors, zero specific repeated driving errors, 
and no more than eight non-critical driving errors. If you are in another state or territory, the number of minor faults can vary. From experience, it's important to listen to what the examiner has to say even if you've passed. Even as driving instructors, we still learn a lot from driving examiners too. I hope this video gave you some tips and also helped you to prepare for your upcoming driving test. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and also if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment down below. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get a notification when we release new videos. Thank you for watching and if you are doing a driving test soon, I wish you the best of luck.